Hi everybody, I'm Paxash, and welcome back to Paxash Plays Who Is Mike. Uh, take it back, because my idea was not that bad, so shut up. <laughs> I really hope the fan isn't, like, interminably loud. Also, I don't know if I used that word right after I've said it. I have, I have a large vocabulary that I don't always know how to use, so... Yeah. Anyway, take it back. Do you think we can still undo this? I don't think so. Guess we better just deal with it. Mike and I stood in silence waiting for Sarah to come back, even though she's clearly already come back into the room. She joined us a couple of minutes later, by which I mean before this sentence was even done, her face grim but composed. It gave me a feeling of normalcy th during this bizarre situation. Alright boys, I'm a lot calmer now. Whoops. Uh... Is there no... Okay, anyway, what the flying fuck? I have no idea. Start at the beginning, then. Well... Um... Okay, well... I heard a noise and I checked it out. I found somebody stumbling around in the living room. I panicked and took the bat, but I just wanted to scare off the guy. And then I saw him, with my face on. I thought I was losing it. But he was making his way upstairs, so I had to confront him somehow. To be honest, I thought of grabbing a crucifix or something. Cute. I don't remember any of that. I just woke up here with an aching head. What's the last thing you do remember? I mean, there's no reason to lie. <laughs> I remember hearing a noise in the kitchen, but I thought it was nothing. I grabbed a beer from the fridge, and something hit me in the head. Next thing I know, I'm in the living room and this guy was whipping a bat at my face. No way. He came in here dragging himself like a drunk. And then he tripped on that stupid carpet. I mean, I guess I don't know that he hit me with the bat. Sure, I hate that carpet. What's with that smirk? Like you've never tripped on that carpet yourself? Blech. My sister gave us that carpet out of the goodness of her heart. That explains so much. Hmm. So, I have a feeling there's another issue here, though. Are you guys trying to outreel each other, or what? Well, there can't be two Mike Jances, can there? I mean, I guess there could be, because that doesn't sound like the most uncommon name. Maybe you could help us figure it out. Huh? Decide which one of you is real? Yeah. Like, how exactly? Oh, I don't know. Ask us some personal questions or whatever. Y yeah why not? I mean, one of us will slip up. Right. Because you want to treat this like a fucking trivia game. Look guys, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> Me either. I'm down with Sarah. Sarah's my favorite right now. <laughs> you can't just decide the realness of somebody in one night of 20 questions. We have to find another way. Like what? Blood sampling? DNA test? An exorcism? I don't fucking know. Just please, don't make me choose between the two of you. Sarah, I'm... We're aware this is unfair. But if there's one person who can help us, it's you. Mikey, you do know I love you, right? We've been together a long time. I know you're... Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's not weird, but... I know your bowel patterns and your unhealthy fanboy obsession with Jason Statham. Er but I don't think literally anyone is cut out for this shit. Why don't we just call your mother? No! Oh, even your reactions are the same. Impressive. Baby Bunny, please? Oh, gross. Help Papa Bunny out. Stop! Didn't I tell you that nickname is only between the two of us? Technically, it's still just me, so... Oh my god. This, that is so fucking creepy. <laughs> One thing's for sure, we do have to fix this. It's just too damn weird. So will you help us? Sarah sighed and shook her head. I don't think I get a say either way. It's at least worth a shot. Wait. After this is over, what are we going to do with the supposed imposter? I beat him with a bat? I don't know. <laughs> Have you guys thought about that little gem? I'm sure we'll figure out something, af something out afterwards. <laughs> well, <laughs> is there really a solution? Yeah, let's not rush into that conclusion yet. Take it one step at a time. 
Okay, whatever. Personal questions it is. Anniversary? February 26, 2009. I don't fucking know. February 26, Thursday. Too easy. Brother's name? Miles Jordan Jansen. He hates it. What, what is this? I don't know if one, what, what the answer is. Miles Jordan Jansen. And exactly why I call him that every chance I get. Right on. You guys are being very mature. Anyway, favorite animal? Starting to sound like the worst dating website in history. Dogs. Hyenas are cooler. Fuck off. Hyenas, man. Hyenas are cool. Oh, yes, they are. Are you guys kidding? That is so random. I was just watching a feature on, on them on an, an Animal Planet. Before all this. But they're so cool. Wicked smart, too. There might be a rerun tonight. Maybe we should watch it. <laughs> oh, good god. Okay, that's it. I don't think this is working. Hey, wait. Let's take turns. What if he's just leeching off my answers? <laughs> right? I resent that. Alright, alright. Here we go. Tell me a secret you haven't told me before. Why not tell the truth? But that's why it's a secret. I can't tell you. Honey, is it about my cooking? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> Same question? Uh, Sarah, I love you, but... <laughs> that last tuna casserole you cook suck like balls. <laughs> nah, can't be that bad, come on. Well, it's not that bad. Hey, don't you wash your hands off of this. You're the one who said it, dude. You're the idiot. You thought about it, too. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> I can't, like, do the reaction noises. Ah. So it takes a clone of you to pop up before you admit to it, huh? But... Next question. Now we're getting somewhere. At least one of you has to be telling the truth. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so, Mike, what's wrong with the casserole? Um, okay. Well, there was way too much chili, first of all. My bottom was on fire for days. It was horrible. The texture, too. I don't know. It just felt like eating barf. I mean, it looked like barf. It tasted like pure death. And the smell of the kitchen afterwards. I thought something really did die. What the- how the f how did you fuck it up that bad, lady? Shh, it's okay, Sarah. You're still my favorite here because you're the least insufferable so far. <laughs> Sh shut up! Shut up! But other than all that, it's okay. <laughs> Shut up, Mike! The plates had a nice floral pattern. The plates. Anything else? You were on a roll there. <laughs> That's all. Uh, on the other hand, you make great pizzalets. Pizzalets? I like the macaroni. Yeah, those were good too. The macaroni was a microwave meal. <laughs> well, that's why it was good then. In short, you like none of my cooking, you lying ass. Let's not. Nice going, Mike. At this point, she'll throw both of us out. Alright then, more questions. Do you have a crush on our neighbor? What? Who? Paris Beaufort, the model who sunbathes naked on Sundays. Jeez. What? That's. Sarah? What even are these questions? I'm just making full use of this situation, Mikey, wouldn't you? Besides, I'm having fun. Yeah, she's pissed. <laughs> yeah, why not? I mean, like, the game has given me no reason to lie to her. <laughs> Ask him first. So, that's a yes. No. Er, she's... She's pretty, okay? You both are. But you're my soulmate. Very convincing. She's friendly. I've talked to her a few times. She was nice. What? I mean, she wasn't intimidating. Didn't try to bite my head off or anything. Oh, sure. And the fact that she flashes her jewels around the neighborhood has nothing to do with her being nice. I didn't even know that. But you should call me next time she does. <laughs> well, this has been very educational. Anything else you want to tell me? Sure, let's uh reveal more secrets. Make other Mike uncomfortable. Paris Beaufort is as dumb as a brick. I'm sorry, but she is. She's a sweet girl. But, dude, poor girl even thinks England is in Africa. <laughs> I mean, maybe she's counting colonization. 
Also, if you try sunbathing in a polluted, overpopulated, middle-class residential area with low walls, chances are you're a little soft in the head. That's true. Anyway, going back to the, to the dilemma at hand. We didn't really make any progress, if you ask me. Yeah, you're not going to make any progress either. <laughs> ah, shit. Why don't we just flip a damn coin? Yeah, why not? Hey, you know, I'm all for that. I might get lucky. Right. Hardly think that's a good idea, though. Of course not. But at this point, I'm really at a loss. Why don't you both stay until you figure this out? Because it's evidently in the middle of the night. We still have to decide, though. Sigh, fine. If you're the real Mike, what do you suggest we do with what do you suggest we do with the imposter? It's difficult. Um, if I'm the real Mike, then I should stay Mike, right? The other one has to leave. Go out in the world and find their own identity. The world is big anyway. Uh, <laughs> like, but I have to leave in that case. That'll let out the classic way. Through a duel, maybe. Or a fist fight. Best man wins. I hope you aren't serious. Are you the real Mike? Of course I am. Is this still one of your weird question thingies? Just answer. Yes, I am the real Mike. How about you? Are you the real Mike? I am. Prove it then. Convince me. Uh, okay bit awkward, but I am Mike, heart and mind. It's the only thing I know, really. I wouldn't know what else to say. Yeah, I... <laughs> like he said, we answered your questions. It's the most we can do for now. But you need to believe me when I say I'm the real Mike. What are you going to do if I ever say you're the fake? <sighs> why is it... I don't even know why it bothers giving me the option. I don't know. I can't leave. I don't want to. Alright, I think I just need to ask one last question. Sarah turned to me. Mike? Yes? Do you know the date? June 15th? Actually, it's already June 16th. That means whatever caused all this happened yesterday night. Can you remember anything? Not really. Not even a little bit? I'm sorry, I've tried, but the last I can remember is feeling very tired. Falling asleep in front of the TV. That span of time is crucial. It's the missing piece to the mystery. Either that's when you started to exist, or you're not telling us something. Started to exist? Is it just me, or am I getting the feeling that I'm the odd one out? We're just trying to help. You're probably a victim, too. What is this? So both of you agreed that I'm the fake? When was this arranged? You did just appear out of thin air, Mike. You're the stranger who barged into the house. Added to that, you have no memory of yesterday's events. It just doesn't make sense. You don't make sense. My chest felt heavy at Sarah's words. This can't be happening. Everything is turning against me. Even Sarah. What do you want me to say? I've already told you everything. Yesterday, I went to work, came home, dozed in front of the TV, and then woke up here. I've already said this. Well, how did you get here? Did you walk? Did you take the bus? Did you ride a rainbow unicorn? Facts, Mike. I need to know facts. Guys, calm down. Seeing the two of you fight is just freaky. I really can't remember, okay? If I could, I have no reason to hide it. I've been nothing but honest since I got here. Maybe he has selective amnesia? That's not a reason, just an excuse. I know I'm Mike. Please believe me. Having a little snack down there, Asa? Eh, Okay, well, my baby girl's eating down there. What if you're a clone and you have no idea? What? A clone? I... you wouldn't know any better. A clone? Was that possible? Was I just disillusioned? Maybe my desire to be Mike fabricated my memories and led me here. Maybe I blocked out the last hours in my mind because I didn't want to know the truth. My head began to throb with frustration. I turned to Sarah. The hope I needed was nowhere in her eyes. Sarah, please. I'm sorry. It's just... I stood there dumbfounded, a drowning man robbed of his final lifeline. I looked at Sarah and Mike, but they both avoided my eyes. I never felt so alone. Fear surged in my blood, 
It turned into betrayal and anger. How could Sarah let me down? I need her the most right now. But she wouldn't listen to anything beyond her theories. How right could she be anyway? This was just a matter of choice and opinion. And the truth was as sharp as it was simple. Oh, that's there's been a couple of typos, but that one sticks out the most. <laughs> she just chose not to believe. Me. My teeth gritted. I thought I could count on you, Sarah. I thought you wouldn't let me down. Don't say that. You don't know how hard this is for me. Oh yeah, and I'm having a ball. Stop villainizing me, Mike. I've done what you asked. No, you didn't. You just jumped to conclusions and refused to listen to me. You said one night of trivia questions wouldn't be enough. But you turn around and just like that accuse me of hiding something. That's not fair. Fair? Fair? Right. That sounds rich coming from you. Why is he- <sighs> Okay. Uh, player character here is a douchebag. Mike, stop. You're hurting her. You yeah, Stop being mean to Seraph. <laughs> She's the only one that I like. I know nothing about this is easy, but I think you have to take a step back. We'll help you, okay? But the way things are going, emotions are running really high. We should all take a breather from this. Why don't you just come by again tomorrow and we'll figure it out. What? You want me to leave? No. Well, I'll leave too if you want. Shut up, you're just trying to get rid of me again. I didn't mean it like that, it's just... I didn't... What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna end it here. <sighs> uh, like, I was waiting for an ending point and then it just didn't come, so this one ran a little bit longer. But anyway, so that'll be the end of this one. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.